What is up, beautiful people? Here is the instructional guide you need to install a zip in your skirts, blouses, tops, whatever project you're working on. So right here, you need your two back skirt pieces and a zip and let us begin. So I'm just going to be sewing it just about here because I'm going to let um, the skirts will have a slit. Okay, so this is what we'll be having at this point. You'll be having the zipper area open this way. You want to close it up first of all. So take this to your machine. And from that point that you notched for your zip, wherever your zipper allowance is, and using the loser stitch on your machine, that's the basting stitch, you want to run a seam line to get to this point do not backstitch just stop there snip your thread such that you'll be having something like this Once you have something like this, what you want to do is go and press this open. You want to open this part up. So go and iron here. Let this part open up. Here is what it's looking like. After sewing up that zipper area close, what we're going to do is now unravel it. I'll just use my seam ripper and open it up. Remember, you need to sew it close and then iron it first of all before you can even talk about installing the zipper. Now we've unraveled the zip area open. The next thing we're going to do is take our zip, right? Now, this right side, let it face the table this way. So that means all the right sides are facing the table. The wrong side of the zip is what you're looking at and the wrong side of the skirt is what you're looking at. Now, carefully, unzip it then you're going to be matching up each of this to the crease that you created while you ironed and pin it down so you are opening up this part remember this is what we call the enclosed zipper technique you are opening up that part and you're pinning it this way you're opening up and you're pinning okay so this is what it should be like here here and this is how it's going to be like on the right side for the other one the same thing take the zipper cloth open up that allowance and pin such that the zipper teeth is sitting nicely on the crease that you created but 
right so this is what you'll be having on the wrong side while on the right side after installing this is how the zip will look like so i hope you can see that now we'll now go to the sewing machine open it up this way and feed it in while sewing make sure that you're sewing close to the zipper teeth change your presser foot to a zipper foot or edge foot to make it very very close to the teeth do not sew on the teeth so that you do not obstruct the zipper while it needs to be doing its work just so close to it such that this whole zipper cloth is totally covered up i hope you get it and you're not having the zipper cloth this way when you're done you want it to just show only the teeth that's what i mean Now you're going to start sewing from the other side. Once you're done sewing this, you're going to start sewing the other side closed. Here is what we're going to be having after the zip has been installed, as you can see. Freshly installed, looking super pretty. And this is what we'll be having on the wrong side. So we'll press this properly so that it um, stays well. And then we can go on to finishing up our skirt.